Yo, I swear, this show makes my skin, skin crawl worse than anything I've ever seen in my life. Dude, 100%. 100%. Like, like, I'm sitting there, I'm watching it, and, yeah, exactly, like, I, I start, I, just, I was just thinking about like, it as you said it, like, especially like, the last scene, I'm like, exactly, I'm like, oh my look. gosh, dude, also, I forgot, I, I can never figure out how to turn, I forgot that my tattoo is heavily inspired by Ellie, I completely, oh yeah, I forgot about I that. completely forgot, I don't know why, like, it's so true what they say about tattoos, is like, you forget that you even have them. Yes, 100%. Like, so I'm sitting there, I was watching the episode, and I'm like, oh, wait, you know, it's hell inspired by hell. Anyway, welcome back to the Dead Kings Podcast. I am your host, TXTV. Over there, over there, is your co-host, Moose Media TV, Brady. And today we are talking about episode two of The Last of Us, the HBO series. And uh, this episode was a lot, obviously, okay. Playing the game, there were some differences that I wasn't, I that I didn't hate, but there were some things that I was kind of like, huh. But we'll get into all those. First and foremost, there are spoilers in this episode, in all these episodes, all these reviews that we do, there will be spoilers in every single one of them. So you, my every- friends, have been warned. Also, make sure you like, subscribe, turn notifications on. I'm really trying to just do more YouTube stuff. I also stream on Twitch, Tuesdays and Saturdays, TXTV1. If you want all that good information, check all my all that good stuff. Anyway, that's not important right now. What is important is getting our general consensus for this episode. Brady, I've been hounding Brady a lot about these episodes and this show. How do you feel? I loved it. I'm honestly going to say I loved it. And... We obviously uh, they it, it, it's a TV show. They're gonna have to. I think what happened is they ended up skipping over some stuff. Mm. Like you said, we're gonna we're gonna talk about that. But uh, honestly, I loved the episode. Like we, we you and I kind of talked about. I think even in the last one, we it's a breath of fresh air. It's yep. something different. Yep. And I really really am liking this. Yeah. Uh, I really like the episode too. There wasn't again there. They're doing this so perfectly. Like, a lot of the people that are complaining that, oh, it's rushed, it feels rushed, that there's this and that. You also have to remember that the game itself, the cutscenes, and I looked this up, the cutscenes itself are only two hours long. The game itself is all all the cutscenes. Yeah, they people put all the cutscenes together. It's only two hours long. So it's like the length of an actual movie. Now, what also extends that playtime is you're actually playing a video game. But they are essentially yeah. taking gameplay elements and uh, cutscene elements and having to extend them essentially the length of half of the whole cutscene game or cutscene movie. Yeah, yeah. Um, which again, a lot of it's scavenging, looting, all that, all that good stuff that you do in a video game. Right. Right. Um, so that's why I'm not mad about it is because again, for those, it, it, it's a great balance for those who have played the game opposed to those who haven't played the game. It's just to me, it's just a good balance. By the way, Tess is down below us. Say hi to every, Tess, everyone. Um, anyway, you'll, you'll see when you watch the playback, Brady. Oh. Anyway, um, I liked the episode. It the, the pacing in this show is really, really good so far. Um, this episode again, there was a big change. We'll 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 get into. We'll kind. I, I guess we won't go beat by beat. Um, well, I try not to, but it's hard not to. Uh, essentially, I, I did like how this was started out in a, in a completely different place, a different viewpoint. The f- uh, so. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's like the consensus from what happened is <laughs> I I can't with this show, dude. I can't. So I can. Uh, where are they? They're in Indonesia, and they go. the The military goes to talk to this doctor lady. All uh, if you've seen the show, you know. We'll just get to the big chunk of it, right? The big, the big chunk, the big one. The big kahuna. They're in this autopsy lab, essentially. They're in this lab, and the doctor lady is looking at this body 
Well, I'm like, well, it doesn't have my sick self because I've seen autopsy videos. But what they do is they drain all the fluid and stuff out of the body. I'm like, hey, this person's still like full. Got all of they it. Haven't, <laughs> they haven't. They haven't been pumped with 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 uh, whatever formaldehyde. formaldehyde. Yeah, they haven't been pumped with that stuff. So I how I knew that. Exactly right. See, see what happens to us in our old age. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so they cu- she cuts open the leg, and there's the fungus. Among us. Among us. It. Oh my. See, dude. Like God. Yeah, I know. I like, trust me. I know it's <laughs> like, moving, and the fact that it looks fuzzy, but it's not because it's like mold and it's a fungus and it's. Uh, ugh. So she's like, "What the heck?" And she's like, "That's not right." So then she sees the mouth, and. Also, there's a bullet wound in the head. Um, in his dome. In and her dome. in her dome. Oh, yeah. By the way, it's a straight up naked body. Like a straight up naked body. I don't know why I was. Naked. Anyway. Anyway. I'm like, this show is not going to pull any punches. Like, we're just seeing a straight up naked body in the second episode. But anyway. Yep. they She pulls out the tendrils, out the mouth. They're still living. Yep. They're moving. Even, They're even, still moving. Even the, see, Brady, look at you. Look at yeah, you. Yeah, I know. I just, trust me. I know. I don't like it because I just imagine. I don't uh-huh. want to imagine. We're done. We're moving on. Anyway, so she pulls out the tendrils, and the tendrils are still kind of still kind of reaching for her, and she's like, oh, shit. In, in, in condensed, she's like, bomb it. Bomb the city. Yo, that caught me straight up off guard. She's like. It's it's over. Yep, she's like bomb yeah. us. Like, she's like kill bom- us all. She says she says bomb. Bomb the city, bomb everyone inside of it. I want to go say bye to me. I want to go be with my family. I'm like okay. Um no punches being pulled. Exactly. I'm like okay. So then we cut to um the squad on the move. Uh also before before anything else. Oh, go ahead. So so this is what I remember in the episode. Or in the game, is that you start getting chased by the guards from the city, right? Yes, and, yes, Correct me if yes, I'm wrong. Yes. And you, they go into the skyscraper, and that's where you first see the tickers, right? Clickers. That's what they are, the tick- clickers, clickers, sorry, not tickers, clickers. And you got to go through the skyscraper while it's raining after the guards just chased you. So you can't go back because the guards chased you, mm-hmm. and now you're in the skyscraper with the clickers. That's what I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Okay, okay. They missed an opportunity there, in my opinion. You think they, they should have had the feds chasing them? Yes. I think they should have had the federals chasing them, and they should have done the scene where they go into the skyscraper. Because they show it to you mm-hmm. at the end of the last episode, and you're like, oh, yes, I remember this. Mm-hmm. And I feel like it was a hugely missed opportunity. Suspenseful, scary, and you have this perfect setup of like, oh, my gosh. Instead, it was more like a a wink and a nod to what happens in the game. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I feel like it was a, just a heavily missed opportunity. So the only reason I'm not mad about that is because how I saw it is it takes and gives us time to experience and explore and look at the world. It let them right. slow down. It let them, you know, Ellie look around and be like, whoa, whoa. Cause the whole time she's in amazement of everything that's going on. Right. That's the only reason why, and I did, when we get to it, I'll explain, like, also why I liked it a little bit more, just because of how Tess went out. Um, Mm -hmm. But I understand your point. I understand your point. But I feel like if they would have been running and trying to escape and stuff like that, that they would, like, obviously, like, if you go back and watch the episode, look how many just, like, how they just hold on certain shots. And just let you fully engulf the world, like that. That shot of Pedro kind of look, like there's a sh- there's a part where he he goes and he like puts his boot or stands on a car just for them to go the opposite way. They knew mm-hmm. they were gonna go the opposite way, so he stops, looks, and they pan around and they show the building on uh, uh, up against the other building, and you can see that you know, like for at least for me, as we're doing with the background now, you're just seeing all the visual effects. They're flexing. They're like, look at what we made. For sure. But I feel like this could have been, you know, the next episode, which it could have been super suspenseful, still at night. Mm-hmm. And they end on Ellie and them going to sleep for the night. And then the third episode would have been 
this episode the clickers that we get today okay yeah that's that's how i would have done it i personally would have had like okay like we ended on seeing the skyscraper which is a huge moment in the game mm-hmm. next episode episode two the one that just we just watched and then you go through the whole night where you're going through the skyscraper part mm-hmm. um and, and all that and then it ends and then we have this episode as the next one okay as the as the third one that's how i personally would have liked to have seen it from what I understand, how they're doing the pacing is they are just hitting every major cutscene interaction moment one after another. Um, okay. The next, because uh, I watched the trailer for the next episode, we're getting Bill, and I think we're getting a little bit of a story of how uh, Bill met Frank. Okay. Um, I don't know if you remember all that, but how Bill? No, I pretty much stopped after the skyscraper part. Okay, yeah. So you get. I'm not. I'm not going to say too much. I'm not going to say too much. If you haven't if you haven't gotten past the skyscraper part i advise you do not go look at cutscenes. anything else oh i'm not i'm not i'm um, not i want a spoiler free spoiler free experience so like i'm staying off social media until i see the episode i skip anything that could remotely be related to the last of us or pedro pascal for that matter pedro this is the year of pedro pascal it is a- anyway so what uh, what we're getting is you know bill and frank we're gonna have Joel, I believe I, I I can't remember exactly what happened, but we see a certain evolution of the infection in the trailer. I'm not saying anything, but that might come in the next episode. Who knows? Anyway, but I under I, I think they're they're going like this. I okay. think, but by the time this is just me, by the time they hit episode nine with season one, it will be the last of us game they're not going to give us half of the show for season one then the next half of the of the video game for the second season i wouldn't be mad if they did only because i call me that toxic fan i do not want to see live action the last of us part two if i do i want them to completely rewrite it i would i would be fine with them complete there's there's one point and I'll talk to, I'm going to remember this moment. I will talk to you after we finish the show that there's one point in the video game in the last of us part two that could have made the whole, if they change this in the TV show and just rewrite it, it would be amazing. But I don't know if they will. Cause they're going off the game anyway, rewinding. So we encounter, I, I, and we're kind of steamrolling, but we encounter, the uh well first first we see that we learn a, actually a lot of stuff about a lot more stuff about the infection oh absolutely we first learn <sighs> that it's like a hive mind yeah yep and that and i don't i can't remember if this was in the game or not but if okay. you step on the infection or disrupt the infection the uh the cordyceps or cord cord cordyceps if that's what it's called i yeah, can't yeah, i can't yeah. If you disrupt that or step on that root or something somewhere, it can wake it up somewhere else. They will come after you. Yeah, like the probably the most nearby. Yeah, the most nearby. And I'm like, no, sir. And they're, you know, it's it's freaky because they're kind of just in a state of like uh, uh, a stagnant, a stagnant state where they're a, just a, chilling until they get like a signal or something. Exactly. Sorry, I had to. I was on my cord. Anyway, oh. um, so they're kind of just chilling, and then we get a little bit more depth there. Uh, and we'll talk about we'll talk about accuracy to the characters here in a second, um, as it's it's unavoidable. How did you feel? How do you feel about the whole hive mind thing? How do you feel about how I, I how they're like how, because... how they're expanding on the sickness and how they're being so candid with it instead of in other zombie shows are like we don't know what it is but we know it can't be stopped and we're all infected they're explaining it they're making exactly how it's constantly evolving and we keep learning more stuff how do you feel about this i like it though because you have to have a balance right like i don't like the zombies that are unstoppable right like Uh i hate the zombies that are just like unrealistically insanely strong but I like that this infection has a balance. Like, there's more to it than it just makes people eat people. Mm-hmm. It 
it, it's it's a living plant thing technically yeah. and uh, you see it in the people it takes over you see it on the ground sprawling across buildings like i wouldn't even mm-hmm. want to go in the buildings because i feel like the tentacles are going to come alive yeah. <laughs> and like it's cool though because funguses rely on moisture most of the time right like that's how we get mold in our bread and stuff like that so it's it's cool when we see in the show that it's dried before they go in the museum and that's how they know it's basically dead and safe to go in there well yeah it's safe to go in there yeah and it, it's just cool i like how there's more to it than just that like how they say like even through the ground the tentacles they can feel it and that almost yeah. means like what do i stay on asphalt then like asphalt yeah key, right because that's where it was coming through was the cracks in the concrete and the asphalt mm. so it's cool i like how there's more to it than it's just it just infects people makes people eat people exactly and what i i think i may have said this in the other one i, I like how it's not even that they're eating each other they're not eating to feed. They're eating to spread and to grow. Yes. Like the, the, infe- the, in, the infection is just wanting to grow and take over. And they say that in the first episode. They're like, it's just going to go until it takes over everything. And I like how it's not just like, like, obviously, The Walking Dead has a different plot. It has a different motive. It has a different this. I still don't know what the motive is for The Walking Dead <laughs> anymore. Right. But we know what the motive is for The Last of Us. And. Now we have an actual feel as to don't go here. We have we know what to look out for now. Because right after oh, yeah. they explain that, they go to the museum and it's covered. It is covered. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Also, I might start doing reactions to um, pilot episodes and finales. Because I'll, I'll talk to you about it later, about how we can do reactions. Because we can Okay. Anyway. One thing I did want to say that I forgot to is they walk by and Ellie looks down in the bomb, one of the bombing spots. That yeah, 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 yeah. I have an issue with this. First of all, if they were bombing a city, it's a bomb. It's not just that little crater, okay? The buildings around there, like, even if it were a smaller bomb, yeah. should have had way more damage to them. That area mm. should have been like, like the crater, and then there should have been like a giant ring around it where there yep. was nothing else. Yep. That to me was a bomb. That looked like a simple, like small, like sidewinder rocket from a Apache hit it or something yeah. like that. You know what I mean? Like that was really disappointing when they're like, oh, is this where they dropped the bombs? Hold up, sister. Have you ever seen Fallout? <laughs> no, she when hasn't. A bomb, they freaking have a bomb hole. Like it is a crater that you could live in. Oh, my God. Have you seen it? No, she's 14, Brady, and she's living in the apocalypse. Taylor, I'm going to say the same thing she said to Joel. I went to school, of course. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Yeah. How does it feel, Taylor? But, yes, that that's probably one of my biggest issues, and that's just me being me. <laughs> well, and, and that's the thing. Not, any, not every episode is perfect, and I have a really big gripe with the end, but we'll get to that in a second. So they go in, beepity-boppity. They find out there's a clicker in there. Hey, oh, my gosh. Two clickers. Two two clickers. Yeah, two clickers. Um. Uh. Well, first we'll talk about the clickers in a second, but let's talk up to the uh, the lead up to the reveal because I feel like an, they they can do one little thing and it's instant tension. Instant yes. tension. And that's what you want, though. Yeah. Like for me, I'm like because they started mentioning things and they they can't remember what else they mentioned, but I'm like, oh no, we're getting clickers this episode. Like I completely forgot where we were. Where we left off. Now, well, I like how they keep looking at each other too. Joel and uh, what's her name? What's her name? Tess. Um, Tess. They keep looking at each other when she talks about. Yeah, I've heard stories about these kind and these kind, and they look at each other like. And and Ellie also mentions too that she, the one that attacked her didn't look like a clicker. Yes. Yes. Which, which means like Ellie's fourteen years old. She's been alive since. Um, she's been she was born into the infection. Into yep. the apocalypse, essentially. And she's never seen a clicker. And clickers only take one year to look like that. Oh. I yeah, so they take... It, it, it's that... Yeah, exactly. Anyway, so... Uh, here's the thing. I really liked this moment because it was just... Joel's like, we're not quiet. We're silent. Yes. Yeah, like he was... He, and then when she's like, what could have done this? And he, they're just like, shh, the fuck up. You know, like... Like it was a pucker face. He's like, shh. He's like, shh. Um, 
Then, okay, so here's the thing. My issue with, and I'm going to go off about Bella Ramsey right now. Not really go off, but give my two cents. As what I said in the last episode, was she, her, she, she just couldn't convey facial expressions very well. Ellie is a very expressive person. Now, before you attack me, before you cut my head off, just know that people can have different opinions than you. It's okay for someone else to have different opinions. As long as that opinion isn't disrespectful in that in that in that galaxy of words that are under disrespectful or doesn't harm you, if it's a legit if it's a legit dislike, then People can have different opinions. I've seen a lot of people. 100%. 100%. I've, I've seen a lot of people jump down people's throats about them just not liking Bella Ramsey's casting. There are people who didn't like Kit Harrington's casting for uh, for Jon Snow. People didn't like Tobey Maguire's casting for Peter Parker. People didn't like Heath. It's the age old, age old adage. People didn't like Heath Ledger's casting as the Joker. But here's the thing. Whether you liked it or hate it, it is what it is. I personally, 100%. right now, am not sold on Bella Ramsey as Ellie. If I hadn't seen or played the game, I wouldn't have thought twice. I wouldn't have cared. My thing is just, I don't see it or feel it yet. Up until this point, what she did when she stepped on the, was it the hand she stepped on? Yeah, and it crunches. And it crunches. If you look at her face, the terror and like the and and the 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 sorry she feels in her face right there, I'm like, she's like, exactly, like she's terrified. I'm like that, that right there. That's what that's what we need. Yes, absolutely, hundred like, percent agree with that though. Hundred um, percent. If you look at Ashley, I can't remember her last name. The 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 actor who did the motion capture for her. Even with all the dots on her face and stuff, you can see her her eyebrows and her facial expressions and all that stuff. Um, let's also, speaking of Ellie, roll back a little bit. When they're in the hotel and she's doing the one, you know, I, I'm your hotel person. Do, 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 do. not get me started on that. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before you go off, that is Ellie. That is Ellie because she's she has that humor where you're like, Shut up, Ellie. You know, like she has those moments when she like when in the DLC where she like she I can't remember what they're doing, but she's like trick fucking master. Like she says such stupid stuff. But you got to remember what she came up with. She's never actually been in a real hotel. Right, she's never, right. you know, so but a lot again, that's that Ellie charm and I'm like she was started going off and I was like is she she's doing the thing. She's doing the thing. She's doing the Ellie thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, so what were you going to say? Okay, so here's my issue. From from my perspective, if I were Joel, I would have went and butt-stalked her right there. <laughs> Shut up! There's these <laughs> deadly things all around us, and we're surrounded by moisture right now, which is what it uses to be a fungus. A fungal, right? I, yeah, I would have been upset, bro. Like I was like, "Shut up, that's, shut up!" And, and that's and then what the skull comes, and I'm like, "That's what she did." <laughs> yeah. But she fell on the piano, and the piano played, which I really like the frog stepping on the piano thing. Mm. But then she falls on the piano, and I'm like, "Shh, you're gonna kill us all." <laughs> I was mad, man. I was like, "Have you never seen a zombie movie?" You live in it. There was a, uh, well, and there was that. I was like, oh gosh, I've seen The Walking Dead enough times to know there's something in the water. And it was refreshing that there wasn't. Not only because for my heart's sake and my blood pressure, but I'm just like, okay, they had this moment. What they did was they, they, they just kind of let it play out. They let it play out. When she's doing all that stuff, and Joel's like, "You're a weird kid," <laughs> like that's you, like, that's you. You're a weird kid. But then we also have to remember too. Again, she's 14 years old. Yes. Um. Yeah. But my consensus on Bella Ramsey is I'm kind of taking it episode by episode. 100. Um, 100. Agree. And people are going off. They're 
upset about her looks. They're upset that this. They're upset that that. I'm like, as as long as I just feel like it's Ellie, then I'm fine. You can't get over the fact. I'm sorry. You can't get like as far as resembling the character. She doesn't. Like from from the video game. I'm just gonna say it to me. She doesn't. Like. Right. It's just she she just doesn't. Now everyone's going off about oh they're not casting for looks they're casting for this or casting for that. Let me say something as a cosplayer right now. People have argued oh well, this cosplayer couldn't play the character. This co-. they are a cosplayer, not an actor. They're not an actor because yep. you put on a costume. Again, this is this is a cosplayer saying this. You put you've watched someone a million a million times. You're doing an impression. Of the character. Yes. You are not becoming that character for months on end, reading scripts over and over and over. You're not a trained actor. That's 100%. the thing people have to understand. Because people have reached out to me and they we've talked and stuff like that. And they're like, Well, what don't you think that this character this person could have done it better? And I'm like they're, I'm like, sure, this cosplayer looks like Ellie, but can they be Ellie? Yes, can they can 100%. they can they devote Say it takes six months to shoot this show. Can they do six months of repetitiveness with this character day in, day out? Uh, training regiments, dieting, uh, you know, all that stuff that goes. I can't even be one to start because I'm not an actor. Um, right. But it's like there's a difference between cosplaying and actually acting. Yes. Um, that's why a lot of these <laughs> there's TikTok people out there and YouTubers who become actors. And it's like, but like, you're not an actor. That's my thing on it with, with that's, that's my thing right there. No hate to any cosplayers out there, but a big majority of the people who have, I've seen tagged were just cosplayers. Yeah. Like people have, people have come to me and they're like, oh my gosh, you'd be such an amazing ghost in a movie. And I'm like, I mean, like, it'd be cool to see my costume on the big screen but at the end of the day that's all it's gonna be because i'm not an actor you know what i mean a bad actor he's a bad actor. i'm terrible anyway <laughs> <laughs> anyway that's my feelings on ellie i'm taking it episode by episode there's definitely big definitive things that um are going to happen that we'll obviously see if we'll see what happens but i'm not watching it to judge that's what that's a big issue I'm not watching the show to judge. I'm watching it to experience enjoy it. Li- to enjoy it and experience live action Last of Us. Now, oh my goodness gracious! That Actually, let me. Let, how do you feel about Bella Ramsey as Ellie? Honestly, I don't have an issue with it at all. Um, obviously, the, the, there are some issues as far as like the facial expressions. Like, I gotta feel like you're afraid. I gotta feel like you're like. I, I did think that when she woke up and they were eating the chicken sandwich and all that stuff, like, mm-hmm. I, I didn't hate that, but I, I see what you're saying. Like, the emotions, like, the, the like tones in the voice are there, the body language is there, but for me, the facial expressions aren't there. It's like, mm-hmm. oh, no. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. You're dumb. Like, the facial expressions don't really change that much. Mm-hmm. And and that's where I, I, I'm having my issue. But other than that, her acting the way she is is totally fine to me. Her oh, really? appearance compared to the, the, the game doesn't really bother me. It's just that exactly. I want more facial expression from the actress herself. Exactly. Um, so that's our spiel. I think that's the last I'm going to dive into the Bella Ramsey as Ellie discussion. I'll probably clip this, post this on Instagram and TikTok and all that good stuff. But that's that's all I really got to say about the Bella Ramsey issue. I'm not watching her to judge her. I'm watching her to see the story unfold. Now, yes. moving on. Clickers. They're going up the stairs, and then we hear them. And instant, I've watched several reactions. Uh, everybody collectively. Yeah, because we're because <laughs> we're not ready for it. We're not we're not ready for it, dude. Like, holy crap. You know what? I kept seeing the revolutionary guns inside the museum. And I was so hoping that they were like, like, this is unrealistic as I'll hang out. But I was like, get the musket! Get the musket! Load it with powder, a ball, yeah. and sit there. 
<laughs> clicker, and then you miss. <laughs> you freaking miss. <laughs> And I saw the coats. And why is your hat backwards, Rally The team. Rally team. Well, that's, they had like George Washington's outfit, and I'm like, what the heck? But I'm like, I'm like, yo, they better not like have Joel or Ellie get. I don't know. I I don't know what else was going on. But I was thinking the exact same thing. Like, crop the flintlock. <laughs> Just beat it to death. But we finally see that these clickers, obviously, the fungal flaps. Oh, stop. It looks like a coral reef on his head. Ugh. Ah! The the fungal flaps. It's obviously armor plating. Yes. Um gosh, the clickers are scary. And and the thing is they're practical. It's yeah. all practical it's all makeup. That's crazy, dude. That's crazy. Imagine getting again actors having to sit through that makeup. For however long it took them to shoot that. And how then, many times they had to shoot it? Exactly. So we have this whole the whole clicker thing I thought was amazing. They do the echolocation. Um, and it's all because Ellie gasps. And I'm like I did call one part in this moment in the museum when Joel's re- reloading the revolver, which why a revolver, man? So many noises. And I was like, he's going to reload this pistol and he's going to look over it. And the clicker is going right to be there. right there in his face. And it pretty much was. It was a little further away than I thought it was going to be. It was on the other side of that, that shadow box. <sighs> oh my gosh. But I was like, I was like thinking it, it like he was going to turn. It was going to be like right here. And I was like, oh. Did you, did you notice that like though when he was, he was kind of listening for it as it was getting closer and then it clicked. Yeah. And when it clicked, it was like right here opposed to like what it's first cl- I'm like, no, yes. dude. And it just looked so freaking gross. It was ever it was everything I thought it was going to be. And it they looked they looked terrifying. They looked oh, amazing. But t- if there's any sort of re- award for best um special effects makeup or something, this needs to take it because whole oh, yeah, crap, dude. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um there's a lot of Easter eggs and stuff that go into it, but we're kind of pressed for time. I'm not trying to have these these TV show episodes be too long. Um, but pressing forward, another clicker comes in. We see it chase Tess off in the background as Ellie's crawling. Um, uh, Joel, first of all, when Joel turns around for the clicker, he unloads an ent- almost an entire magazine into its stomach. Nice grouping, yeah. Joel. But... <laughs> Don't call him out like that, man. Come on. It's Pedro Pascal, man. It's Pedro. But let's also remember that, like, he could have just, I don't know. Like, you're, I I can't believe, oh, he could have just flipped it into semi-auto and pop, pop right in the head. Like, it's right behind you. You know, like, it's right behind you. Like, oh, my gosh. You know, and the spray bright. But, but it, that whole sequence is just really good. A lot of people I was seeing were like, it's too slow. It was so Walking Dead. I'm like, no, it wasn't. These things were running. Yeah, no, I, I liked it. That's how it was supposed to be. That's how it was when you first entered the skyscraper part of it. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, that, that, no, I thought it was fine the way it was. Like, I wouldn't have changed anything, I don't think. Yeah. So, again, fast forwarding. Tess, obviously, she gets bit. Um, They do away with the clickers. Tess hurts her ankle, and I'm like, okay, there's that. She that's, not- that's where I thought she had been bit. That's where I guess she had been bit mm-hmm. because she snaps at joel when she's like god can you just want have something go our way you know because before they were both realists through the first episode and through the first half of this one they're mm-hmm. realists yeah they know the the harshities of this world and they know that hey we got to be straightforward and honest with each other mm-hmm. and when she snapped at him that she wanted hope i was like that's like, nah, nah, a little nah, bit man. different from what was happening and being said before exactly it's not right here Exactly. And so the, the whole thing, I'm like, because obviously playing the game, you know, it's going to, ha- if you play the game, you know, it's going to happen. But she was so more upsetty, panicky in this. Mm-hmm. And it, it just made you anxious. Like it made me anxious, at least. Um, two things that I never noticed that 
um, when she, like, I was watching a breakdown of the episode just because I'm like, oh, hey, it'd be cool to see all the Easter eggs. You know, whatever. I didn't notice that when she goes down the ladder, her bite presses up against the ladder, and that's why she wins. It's not because of her ankle, but because her bite presses against it. And then, yeah, right? And then when Joel and Ellie are walking, and he kind of keeps looking over at her, um, Tess looks back, and you can see blood on her neck where she's been bitten. But I didn't notice that. I did not notice that. Um, Again, there were a bunch of little other winks and nods to it, but that's not what we're here for. We're here to give our consensus on the episode. Now, the big one. Brady, take it away. From when they Brady enter that... Them. From, first of all, first of all, I don't know if you thought about this, but when Joel's when Joel's going around that truck and opening things, I couldn't help but think, man, that's a sorry looking M4. Dude, it was. Like, like that thing oh, was like, scuffed. Dirty weapon. Dirty, dirty weapon. Like that's all I could think of. It was like, man, this thing has seen better days. It'd be better in my care. Give it here, Joel. But anyway, <laughs> I just I'd strap an M4 or an M203 on the bottom of it and then put a shotgun on the top rail and then we'll call it a day. Gosh, stop it. You're done. <laughs> um, No, I like the way he approached the vehicle. I like the way he we went around, cleared everything, and then the freaking dead guys underneath. And I was like, oh, no. Does that make – does, does that kind of – I don't mean to jump in. Does that kind of make you think too more more as well that he was also in, on, in Desert Storm, that he's also yes. a veteran? Yeah, I was waiting for something to make it perfectly clear. Mm-hmm. Like – yeah, like when he was doing uh, bandaging up uh, tests and all that stuff, I was like, "Oh, okay, he's gonna say something about how in the military he did this, this, or this." But mm-hmm. I could, I had, a, I just the way he reacts and the way they have him doing stuff just makes me think that he's still a veteran. Mm-hmm. Um, so I do have an issue with once they go inside and they find everybody dead. Mm-hmm. Um, when they when, like, it makes me panic. Like you said, like that's where you started getting that like stressed out like why are you acting so weird yeah and she was like searching all the bodies there's got to be something there's got to they got to have a map and i'm like what is going on calm down you act like the devil himself is on your heels <laughs> exactly and, and then when uh ellie was like she's been bit i like how there wasn't this argument back and forth of mm-hmm. no i'm not yes i am no i'm not yes i am prove it blah 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 it was it was just like oh and it, fo- it followed the game to a T, not to a T, but because in the game, if I remember correctly, she's not going around knocking over all this stuff and all that good stuff and freaking out. She's kind of just freaking out. And Ellie's like, she's bit or she's infected. Mm-hmm. Um, And then when she does, she reveals it. Oh, she reveals it. And she's like, whoops, like that's in the game, too. But yeah, it, it I'm like. And then when Joel sees the, the tentacles come up and touch the fingers of the yep. dead guy, I was like, oh, no. Oh, no. Let's, I let's... thought it was just kind of like going to be a moment where he, like, realizes, like, holy shit. Like, just kind of an oh, shit moment. Not like that a bunch of zombies were going to come. It's just kind of one of those things, like, it takes everyone who dies, so i just got to end this, you know? Yeah. But it wasn't. It was that it actually reaching up to send a signal out to everything. And I was like, Ooh. Exactly. And the thing too we can't skip over is just their their moment that they had where she's like she's like shut up and let me you know make this easy for me you know let me let me let me just do this you know and Joel's mm-hmm. like no no because he's between wanting to leave her and wanting to go wanting to stay and wanting to go he's mm-hmm. having a hard time accepting this in the game I think he was more so like show me I don't I don't trust you don't touch me as in this one when he came she came to him like he obviously. He obviously retreated back. back. Yeah, he was like, whoa, yeah. no. But you could also tell, too, like, he wanted... I don't know. It, it was just... It was just... Oh, my gosh. He, Pedro Pascal, and I can't remember this other actress, act, this actor's name. They're just so good, dude. They're so yep. good. I they feel really like... I, I feel like... I don't know. Like, it's been a while, because... It's been a while since we've just had a show that's just this impactful. But... Mm-hmm. um. Here's my here's if I finally get to get to my gripe, then we'll we'll press on. My gripe is that she spilled the gasoline everywhere. She dumped the freaking grenades everywhere. Why the fuck was she fumbling with a goddamn lighter? When pick she up, could have picked up a grenade. Pick up no, one of the grenades. I was, I was gonna say the same thing. Like two grenades. 
pull out your rings and just wait. Yeah. Just wait right there. Why? Exactly. And the fact, too, is she was staying still enough. They all were running and then they stop because they got to the area and they couldn't find they couldn't find her or they couldn't mm-hmm. find what was going on. I will say, OK, yeah, she 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 had yeah, no one of the one of the one of the, the the runners. They were called one of the runners stops, turns and sees her and he just slowly walks up to her, which makes me think like if someone's being violent or or agitated or trying to get away if it makes the makes them actually run aggressive. after them yeah aggressive because it just walked up to her and she's just standing there yeah anyway he has the tendrils coming out of his mouth she's trying to light the zippo halfway through that i'm like just fine just kill her i don't care anymore but 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 she you know they share this really weird fucking kiss it was gross. It was. It was. Hit. And then yeah. she finally light. She finally lights the Zippo. Drops it. Boom. Um. Your thoughts on the kiss, the kiss and on the death. Super. Okay. So the kiss thing was just really weird. I expected her to light the lighter before it happens. Drop the lighter, and they all go up and smoke. And she says some corny cliche one liner or something. <laughs> That's kind of what I wish would have happened. Um, I guess you could look at it as the kiss was kind of interesting because in the fact, like, she's already bit, she's already infected, and basically I feel like the zombie walking up to her was the fungus saying, look, just let this happen. Take like, it. You've ar- you're already infected. Let me just make this as smooth and peaceful of a process as possible. Essentially, maybe, yeah. Maybe, like, you know, you're trapped, you're not fighting, just just go peacefully kind of a thing. Mm-hmm. And I was thinking that she's gonna like once it started kissing her, I thought she was gonna stop trying the zippo. Ah, uh, and just and, and then all the zombies just... were gonna start going. Yeah. Um, but I'm glad that she does get it lit and she just drops it. Uh, it just was it, it just was weird though. It just was weird. Um, but yeah, really, I really think she just should have used the grenade. I what I will say is I I, I told I told uh, one of my friends this already. But I told them that I accept this death more than I accept the other death when it's like four Fedra guys. And she's like, I can hold them off as much as long as I can. She takes down two of them and then she's shot to death in the game. Oh, okay. yeah. And Ellie, Ellie and Joel are up on a. a oh, is that uh, when they're running away? Yeah. From the main city? Yeah. They're going to meet okay, with Bill okay. and they, they go up and uh, they see her dead body and the, the Fedra guy, like. It's not too many of them either. And I'm just like, okay, it, it was, it was, she took down a horde mm-hmm. of infected opposed to only taking down two Fedra guys and then just getting shot like a bitch. You know what I mean? Right. right I, I personally right. liked the video game test a little bit more, but how she went out, I would have expected her death to be like the TV show where she goes out with a right. big okay. bang instead of, I'm going to hold them off. And a bunch of guys with ARs are coming in and she's only got a freaking pea shooter. Like, right. Like, who wrote this? Also, also, I haven't seen anyone talk about it, but the freaking chest lights and the, the lights that they have straight from the game. Oh, the, like the old school army lights that are yeah. at a 90 degree angle. Yeah. 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 yeah cool. They have those like Joel had, Joel had his and he gave it to Ellie, I think. And I was like, oh, it's the freaking inhaler looking lights. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, uh, I got issued one of those. Did you? Yes. I'll never forget basic training. When they Good. One of those. Good. Like, you real? You're Is Joel. You're real? You are Joel. <laughs> um, anyway, there was that. And then there was a. They, they, they GTFO. And they're going to meet with Bill. Uh, I'm, I'm skipping over things because we're pressed for time and I'm tired, but, uh, there's something else that I'm, I'm forgetting right now for, I'll, I'll remember it the second we end this, but, um, I don't know. I like well, the explosion goes off and that's where it ends pretty much. Yeah. They run out of the building and she, uh, Ellie looks back and there's all this smoke, which I do have a continuity error issue. All the smoke was coming out the doors on the bottom level and like the mid level, but nothing was coming out the broken windows at the top. Of the smoke, and, it's, it's um, smoke. Get over it. Come on, <laughs> like we're really nitpicking because this show is just so. 
it's, it's so, good. It, it's good. Well like, done. Yeah, there was a part. I can't remember what part it was. I think it was after. Oh, it was after they got done with the clickers, where they're all going down the 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 ladder. I thought they were gonna cut to black right there and just call it call the episode right there. Oh, and I'm like, I was like, don't beauty. do it. I was like, don't do it. We have to kill off Tess. Um, Taylor, don't you want that to happen? I don't, but I, I like didn't, but I just like knew it was coming, and I'm like, hey, we have to at least get another video game thing. Anyway, I think what we will do. Oh no, yeah, we're not doing final verdicts. We're just we're saving those for the end. Yep, we're saving um, for the end. I'll just say I thoroughly enjoyed this episode. Uh, my thoughts on Ellie are my thoughts and my thoughts alone. I, I, Bella Ramsey's doing her thing. Um, I personally, again, I'm, I'm partial to if you're going to go out and try to make, like, Pedro looks amazing as Joel. He looks yes. like Joel to me. If you're going to put that much work in, his counterpart needs to be equally as accurate. That doesn't mean I hate. That just means I'm taking it episode by episode. And this episode was really good. What about you? Absolutely love this episode. I just can't wait to see the next one, honestly. Like, I was even thinking about it. Um, I just, over the weekend, I was like, I just want to watch the new episode. <laughs> exactly. So I, can't, I can't wait for the next one. And I'm totally looking forward to the rest of the show. Awesome. Well, that'll do it for this episode. Thank you all for watching. If you liked what you saw and want to see more, let me know down below. Let me know what you thought about the episode down below. And I'll see you all in the next one.